Once again, the, the spacewalk today did begin officially at 6.38 a.m. Central Time. Two is at six. Hat hatches open on the Quest airlock. You can see the cover popped up there. Check suit P gauge 4.2 to 4.4. And there are just a couple of steps left before we uh, ex would expect to see the spacewalkers coming out of the hatch. 4.3 for EV1. And 4.4 for EV2. Copy 4.5 and 4.4. Visors as required for day. And Stephanie for EV1, that was 4.3. Stephanie for, for EV1, it was 4.3. Copy 4.3 for EV1. Thank you, Christina. And you may take your visors as required for day. And visors set for EV1. Copy. And that's complete. Copy. We have uh, all of the suit parameter data here on the ground. We have taken care of the airlog VRIV step, so we show a crew lock depress complete. The hatch thermal cover is open. Christina, you may egress the airlock. Copy, in work. And that was the go-ahead from Stephanie Wilson for Christina Cook to begin heading out of the airlock. Again, the spacewalk has officially begun. 6.38 a.m. Central Time was the official start time. And if you keep an eye here on the, the view from uh, coming down from the space station, we should see the spacewalkers beginning to, to make their way outside. Once again, this uh, historic moment, first time that two women have done a spacewalk together. Tracy, as a female spacewalker, does that seem like a milestone worth worth marking and celebrating to you? I think the milestone is that um, hopefully this will now uh, be considered normal. Um, it's uh, significant in that um, you know, not to overshadow the fact we've uh, women have been doing spacewalks for 35 years, and um, we train like this every day, and so it's pretty normal. And we just hope that this is a a start to that.